In this video I'll show you how to customize the pull down menu from the top of the phone and also the lock screen, the home screen of your Samsung Galaxy Android phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and you open this menu for the lock screen and home menu by long pressing on the home empty area of the home and you will be able to change you can have a, an email you can put a notification if someone finds your phone to see an email you can change the background of the lock screen um, any color you might have even you can use pictures you can really customize it you can customize the lower left and right buttons and you can if you see now i changed the color of the lock screen and it's different it shows a little bit different this is really it's important to be able to set the preference how you want and these buttons the left one and the right one they are also customizable this is a function of android 14 and i believe most android phones have this the sony xperia has this the google pixel would have this it's a, it's a really interesting feature where you can have two buttons on the bottom of the screen to be able to access quickly a function like the torch so i show you now that i have the torch enabled on the lock screen so you can easily quickly turn on and off the torch the light of the phone so i long press in the empty area of the home and these are the the settings i have i could even change the background of the home screen to another color you can add widgets on the home screen you can add widgets on the lock screen it's very customizable whenever you install new apps each app can have its own widgets and you can add those widgets to the home screen or to the lock screen but be careful don't add too many widgets because they will drain the battery these are all things that are they need processing power and you want to keep the processing power usage when you don't use the phone when it's either to minimum so you don't have to charge your phone 10 times per day that's how i changed the setting to move the torch button so i want to move this torch button to the top here to the top row that top row is what will show on the first time when you pull down from the top menu so other than the lock screen and the home screen i can customize i can add the torch button to the pull down menu so it's in multiple places easier to easier to reach easier to access so now you see the torch is there so the same function i can turn on the torch and turn off the torch and i show you now how to add the torch button to the lock screen and to the home screen pull down menu the top menu or notification menu i'm not sure exactly how it's called but it's not only about the torch you can use this to add and remove buttons move buttons around to make the phone as you prefer it if you want to for example to lock the orientation of the phone to portrait and not to switch to landscape automatically you can use that one of one button like this here you have this is the power button and the volume buttons a bit of difficulty with the focus and, and normally you would be able to turn off the flashlight the torch with the power button on the older phones but not on this one now so to do this i found a way to do a double press on the power button and then press again to the double press will turn on the camera and turn off the flashlight and then press again to turn off the camera you can do this by having the side button set to double action open camera and then you double press when you double press to open the camera it will turn off the flash the torch it's not really great but it actually it works better than having to put, put press on the menus in the phone the way the torch menu the torch button opens here where you have to slide it to open it it's uh, good in a way because it's uh, harder to accidentally turn on the torch of the phone while it's in your pocket thanks for watching